Hey there everybody and welcome back. In today's video I'm going to be walking through the new AppGyver Community Edition. So for those of you that are new to the channel or not, don't forget to like and subscribe and check out the AppGyver Tutorials playlist on the channel to learn more about the platform. But what I'm going to be going over today is this announcement here. So you'll see that this announcement in the AppGyver forums is basically walking through the new Community Edition within the SAP Build Apps landscape. So essentially you'll see that there is this option to create a new account using this link. So in the past, AppGyver, you would basically access it from this URL here. You would go to AppGyver.com, click on the Community Edition. So if I back up two steps, you would go here and then click Login and Sign Up. Now this new link is basically moving us over to the AG community.design, etc, etc. So that was just accessed from this link here. So what this means for us, I just wanted to do a quick first impression of this new platform. I haven't actually done anything yet. I literally just created my account. So this is more of just a first impression video. So jumping straight in, the initial login page looks pretty much identical to the old community edition. So nothing new there. I'm going to click create new. And honestly, everything is still looking pretty much the same, which I guess is good and bad. The good is obviously everyone's going to know where everything is, but the bad being maybe some people were expecting some really big changes, but again, yet to be determined. So we will call this test app and we will click create and then kind of walk through and see if there are any major changes. Now, Overall, the layout looks, from what I'm seeing, completely identical. The only difference that I'm seeing, just the initial first impression, is we get this headline up here and the text may be a little bit different down here as far as like general font and formatting, but that's really your difference is really just what I'm seeing by default. So what I do want to do is drop in a title. So the title does appear to be smaller than the older Community Edition nothing major there. When we're looking at the actual components in the core section, I'm not seeing any major changes here. So I'm still seeing the majority of what you would see in the older version of AppGyver. And if it helps, we can always try to log in in a separate video if I see enough changes. If you're interested in seeing that, let me know in the comment box below and I can try to do a side-by-side -side comparison. So what I'm looking through here, I'm seeing the majority of the components are the same nothing in the by me section and just the default stuff in the installed section as well since this is a brand new account now i'm going to go to the marketplace and kind of scroll through and see if i really just see anything that kind of stands out so there are things that are added here slowly over time but i'm seeing the majority of the things that were previously there like scrollable lists recycle view the image card list with header We'll go through flow functions, so seeing a lot of the similar stuff like debug, log, pick files, take photo. So not seeing anything uh, really just that different so far, but we'll continue to look through. So we see a couple of things here and then obviously your updates section. So all in all, all of that looks pretty much the same. So let's go through some of the other options. So going to the menus along the top, we see launch. So this screen looks completely different though the actual options do appear to be the same. So you have your build section and then your preview app. Now, referencing this post here, it doesn't look like the iOS app portion is available just yet. At least I'm not quite sure. So if we were to go to open build services, you'll see that we load this page here. So you have your iOS, web app, and Android mobile app sections, and then you can configure and build accordingly. And I do like that you get this little error saying what's missing when you hover over. So that is kind of cool to see. These menus do appear to be the same. So there shouldn't be much confusion when configuring the actual setup for the uh, really just the general build. Now, I will say that the plugins here, I don't recall this being on the web build section previously, though I'm not 100% sure on that. And looking through the iOS setup, uh, this looks to be maybe different. I haven't done the iOS build in a while, but all in all, everything looks to be relatively similar. So the build appears to be the same. Now let's open the preview portal and see if that looks like it's the same or similar. So we'll click open preview portal 
and then we will click open, although there is a preview on device and a settings option, so nothing, you know, too uh, intense there. So I will click on the open test app and you'll see that we have, just as before, our test page. So <clears throat> although this does look a little bit different, nothing, you know, massive or different. The theme menus look pretty much the same to me overall. Navigation does appear to look the same, although this page looks a little different with the ability to create the new list, though I could be wrong, but this does appear to have different functionality than what I remember. Now the data menu, this does look a little bit different, though the functionality looks the same, so it looks like a lot of these changes may be more UI changes. So you'll see we have the ability to add integration here where you can choose visual cloud functions or SAP systems. And you'll see that integrations are not available in the community edition. That's a bit unfortunate. Uh, but then when we scroll through, so you'll see we can add SAP AppGyver classic data entities. And this is where we can do our API direct integration. And honestly, as long as this is still something that's publicly available, I think that this is gonna still enable you to make some very, very powerful applications. And then we have configure Google Firebase, which looks identical to the way that it did previously. So, so far we do see what appears to be some kind of like uh, just general UI refreshes to make this look a little bit more appealing, which is nice, but no massive changes with regards to functionality. So the enable authentication still appears to be the exact same uh, from what I'm seeing. And then your help section here with documentation, forums, etc. So if we click on AppGyver forums, it takes us to the forum page. So again, nothing too big there. So let's try to go back to the actual UI and we'll just kind of click around. So these menus on the right hand side look the same. The style looks the same. <clears throat> The layout, width and height, position, all of these menu options appear to be the same. So no massive changes just yet. Page layout appears to be identical with regards to padding, advanced properties, things of that nature. So <clears throat> that's the majority of the functionality that most people are going to be using. So all in all, I'd say that this is... <clears throat> maybe a welcomed change for some people. I don't think it's anything that would be too scary as far as if you wanted to go from one platform to another. But one thing that is worth noting, if you read this section here, you'll see that they're strengthening the commitment to the community edition, which is nice to hear. But the other thing to note is the new community edition will remain free of charge and receive more improvements than what we've been able to provide to the current community edition. So it sounds like you're probably going to get more support on this product. So although you may have some bugs with a new release, it may be safer to say that you may want to start transitioning over just to make sure that as issues arise, they're addressed in a timely manner. So all in all, I don't think that this release is too scary, not too much to report. I would love to know your thoughts. Let me know in the comment box below, and I'll see you all in the next video.